Hello everyone and welcome to part 3 of my Minecraft world tour. So in the previous videos we toured base 1 which is over there. Then we toured the residence or the first house which is over there in the distance. And in this video we're going to be touring the second house. So this is my house over there. Okay and also just to show you this is the mountain pod that we toured in the second video. There we go. That's what it looks like from the outside. And that's the river over there. Okay. Now I'm going to fly to the entrance. Here we go. And we're going to start a tour of my house. And also, quick note, there's some mods in this world. So a few modifications like these cars, helicopter, and a lot of other objects. Anyway, this is the front of the entrance. So here we go. The door seals. And I have this igloo for Christmas, but I didn't disassemble it yet. Now we have a nice area over here with a fountain. 2022, new sign. Then this is part of the house on the right. And we have the main entrance on the left. So I have this carpet. I'm gonna enter over here. And also take a look at this. There's some pressure plates that will detect people. Same with these trip wires. And if I stand on one of these, it will close some windows upstairs. So that is for extra security. Okay, we have the snow golem or snowman. I actually forgot what this is called. I'm gonna go inside. Very secure. We have this door, and then this door over here also seals. So that's TNT proof or creeper proof. Okay, there's an aquarium over here and a little entrance area. So, first, I'm gonna start off by going to the right up these stairs. We have a nice view. And then, if I open these doors, we have the library. Okay. There's also a secret door that leads to the bunker. And yes, this house is a bunker. So there we go. Nice window. And an aquarium. Down here, this leads to the swimming pool. So there's a small swimming pool. And if I go down, we have a view. So this is the underwater view. If I go out this door, it will lead to the restaurant, so over here. And it just connects to the stairs earlier. So we entered these doors earlier. And now I'm going to go down this way. So not really a restaurant, but more of a dining and kitchen. So dining room and kitchen. There's this red carpet. And also a minecart track. So I can ride on the minecart or transfer files using a chest. Okay, looks like we have a panda. Very strange. So here's the dining room or dining area, a lot of seating. And also the windows are really thick but they still offer a nice view. So there we go. A pond with a bridge and this is the kitchen up here. Pretty cool. We can even play some music. So let's get this. Oh, there's already a disc. There we go. And for some reason, I don't hear any music playing. That's pretty strange. Anyway, this passage over here leads to the emergency safe room. Now, I'll show this to you later. Oh, look, there's a parrot. So this leads to the bunker. And I'm gonna go back this way. Anyway, moving on to the left side, we're gonna start off with the first floor. So this is just some meeting area and there's a defense system over here. If I break this, it will fire all sorts of objects at the door. And I think it will fire some fireballs. So that anyone trying to enter through the door will get set on fire. And then we have this nice area where you can view the sunrise and sunset. So the sunrise happens on this side. And the sunset happens on this side. So it's just, this is really cool. There we go. We have the sunset. And then the moon is rising over there. Okay, I'm going to go back down. Whoops. We have the garage down there. There's a bathroom over here. And this is a pretty cool system where I can lock the garage and the gate. So now the gate's locked and the garage is locked. And I can open them just like that. Okay. So for now we're gonna close. There we go. Unclose. And yeah. I'm gonna go down to the garage. Wow, the chair is <coughs> in the elevator. So this is the garage and there's a door over here. 
This has a delay. Oh, actually the door is locked since I locked the gate. So we're gonna have to unlock both of these to access the door. So now we're on the basement, at the basement. And this is the garage. So I have some mods with the cars. And for some reason they're all scattered around. And then this is the gate that leads outside. So I can get one of these cars and drive away just like this. Very cool. I'm gonna drive back inside since it's night. And park. There we go. Okay. <coughs> now I'm gonna show you the second floor. So let's go this way and go up the stairs. So the only stairs leading to the second floor are over here. But there's actually an emergency passage in one of these walls. And we'll get to that in a while. So up the stairs, we have the helipad. Very nice view also. I'm gonna close this. And then there's a bedroom over here. So more of a guest room with a desk. And some storage. Oh, actually this is a door. This is the bathroom. So there we go. Some storage over there. Nice view of the river. And my room is over here. So there's this hallway. I got a water dispenser and trash bin. So we have some nice doors that seal. And then this over here leads to the back entrance and exit. So we'll show that later. We have some storage here. A jukebox. Let's see if the music will play this time. Okay. And then my room is over here. Wow, what song is that? So this is my room. I have a Minecraft, Minecraft playing on the computer. We have a storage area. And then I can seal the doors over here. And if I seal the doors, it opens this emergency box. So I have some supplies, which is pretty cool. We have the light switch for the different lights. So the center light and the surrounding lights. And then there's an aquarium over here. There's a bathroom here. Now this emergency passage that I was talking about earlier is inside the wall and it will lead into the bunker down there and a small safe room up here. So there we go, emergency safe room. Just in case somebody's trying to attack. And I'm gonna go back here. So these windows are also very durable and they can be sealed using this lever. Or they can automatically be sealed once somebody is in close proximity. So as I showed earlier, there were pressure plates on the floor and those will seal the windows. And there are also trip wires that will activate the same thing. That is also hardened glass, so pretty durable. There's a bed, I'm gonna go to bed actually so we can have a better view in the morning. Okay, respawn point set, so now the sun should be rising. If I go over here, we have the science lab and a dining area plus kitchen, so mini kitchen. There we have the sunrise, I have all my pets here, so I have some dogs. I think they're about three dogs or six dogs and then a few cats. So here's the kitchen and this window shows the tripwire hooks. So those are what activate the other windows. Basically that's what closes the windows in the room. So we have the view of the front and the fountain. Plus I can see my Japanese pagoda over here. Okay. Moving on, I'm gonna go down and show you that entrance and exit that I mentioned earlier. So we have some storage space over here. And then this is the back entrance and exit that leads onto this lake. So really nice area, this is what it looks like from the back. Now I'm going to take a look at the pagoda over there on the left. So I'm just going to go back into the main area at the front, main entrance way. And let's open this. There's a door over here that leads to the pagoda. So here's the door. Okay. And the second door. So this is Japanese pagoda I built. Pretty cool. 
Now this isn't my original design. I actually got it from a Minecraft book that showcased how to build some things. So I followed the instructions and building techniques. But overall, it's a pretty cool structure. Very nice to look at. I'm gonna go back over here. And you may wonder what all these windows are for. And I'll get to that in a bit, but there's actually a whole ecosystem underneath. So if you take a look over here, we have some plants and there are already animals. That's just a really cool idea. I'll show you in a while. Basically like a biosphere of some sort. Okay. So now let's take a look at the biosphere and the bunker. I'm gonna use this entrance over here. Okay. Oh, also there's a vault over here. So the password is 134. Obviously I'm gonna have to change it after showing this to you. So this is the vault and I can keep lots of items in here. Some diamonds and lots of other things in this chest. Diamond, diamond, nothing there and some emeralds. So yeah, pretty good vault, very secure. Double doors. I'm gonna close it. And over here, this leads to the bunker and the medical room. So this is the medical room. Okay. This is the secret door in the bookshelf that I showed earlier. And this passage over here leads into my bedroom. This is the nether, nether portal, and the bunker. So the bunker is over here. This leads to the garage, so everything's all connected. And we have the survival bunker with a bathroom here. And there's a nice area over here, living area, and an area down here. Plus we have the bedrooms, VIP. So this is a bigger room. And then we have this room over here, and another room over here, so really nice. One more room over here. Now I'm going to show you the biosphere, so entrance. Now this is like an underground environment, and it's self-sustainable, just in case something happens to the surface. So for example, if somebody decides to bomb the surface or spawn the wither and actually destroys everything, then we have this backup environment down here. And also fun fact, so this mountain over here is a replica of the mountain pod. Now it's not exactly the same, but it's very similar to the mountain pod that I showed in the second video. So the part two of the world tour. So here we have the mountain pod. It's a slightly modified version. Whoops. Slightly modified design, but similar idea. Let's just wait for this elevator to go up. And take a look, this is a mountain pod. So, we have a bit of a different view this time. Since we're underground, you can see all the walls. But it's the same concept. There are a few more modifications down here, like a kitchen and sofa, plus some storage. Okay, let's take a look. I can even fly in here, since it's pretty large. So really cool, underground environment. There's even a lake and a small hut. So this is a similar hut to the one that leads to the secret bunker in the other video that was in the first video. And yeah, really cool. So similar hut. Okay. Very cool place. There's also a cave system over here. So we have some lava. And yeah. I can't really go there because it's hot. Oh, actually, yeah. <laughs> I can't really go there since it's hot. So I'm going to go back. Wow, I'm going to look for some water. Okay, looks like I, I'm not on fire anymore. Very strange. So now I'm going to go back and I think that's pretty much it for the house. So we're going to go and move on to the next thing oh yeah there's one more building over here oh nice there's a car over here so we're gonna pick this up over here now this is the building that I used to build all my ideas in so if I have a random 
idea then I'll just build it in here and I'll show you what I mean in a while so for example I have some ideas for some new contraptions like these doors so I can just build them in this building and it's safe from creepers and other things it's guarded so we have this door and a lot of different ideas like this one plus there's a green screen setup so I can make some minecraft videos if I want to and actually, I actually have no idea where I built this but it was pretty fun to play around with and test some editing now I'm gonna go back outside over here and let's take a look at the nether so I built a few things there and this time I'm gonna show you what the secret entrance is like so I'm gonna go into the bookshelf by pressing this button watch what happens here we go I can go down and enter the nether actually I should probably eat an enchanted apple okay so this is a pretty dangerous place wow it's pretty noisy also so yeah we better run okay so this is one of the structures I built nope, 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 nope. yeah this is one of the structures I built next to the portal it's a like a small safe house so somebody sh something's trying to shoot me like that gas over there I can easily stay here there's also another one but that was actually abandoned due construction so it never got finished and this is what I mean it's got abandoned because yeah I kept getting shot at by the gas anyway I'm gonna go and show you the other thing that I built which is a house so it's similar to the one on land but this time it's in the nether okay gotta be very careful so this is what I mean it's like a replica of my house but in a different location so I'm gonna have to land over here and okay so yeah it's the same thing same fountain we now just have some glass for protection and I can also enter the same way there's a slight modification so there's more pressure plates for better security and if I go over here you'll also notice that the elevator has been replaced with just water if we take a look over here at the engine exit at the back it's been modified so now it's just a viewing deck there we go and this is pretty cool look at this 360 panoramic view of basically lava and other random things okay so these doors aren't glass anymore they're just more durable and I have this room same room pretty cool same area over here so yeah everything's pretty similar and that's basically it I'm gonna go back into the portal oh one difference the library is actually different and there's no more swimming pool so there's also a defense platform over here so as you can see there's some openings so I can shoot yeah there's also no vault here since the place is more dangerous and it wouldn't be a great place to store valuables in now I'm gonna go back to the portal oh also the bunker is still here but there's no more biosphere so just the bunker I'm gonna go back to this portal and let's see where we arrive at Okay, generating world, building terrain. What's happening? Oh no. Looks like I'm in some cave. Not good. Now before I end the video, I want to do a quick TNT test just for fun to show how durable the place is. If you're not interested in watching this, then you can just skip ahead. So I'm going to play some TNT over here. This is a copy of my world. So I'm not gonna explode my actual world. I have multiple backups. Okay, let's do a bit of a time delay so that I can actually run away. Let's do something like this. And yeah, that looks pretty good. So, okay, run. I'm gonna stand behind a tree. Oh no. 
What's happening? Wow, take a look at that. Look at the floor. The ground's just gone. And look at the windows. Wow. So let's see the damage. Can I just fly up to the entrance and go back inside? That's what works. And wow. Looks like nothing happened from the inside. Everything's intact. Take a look at this. Sealed. Wow. I'm going to do one more test to see how it handles again, just for fun. Okay, in three, two, one. I'm gonna fly away. Hide behind somewhere. Whoa! That was really powerful. Wow. So I was blown up. And, oh, actually I'm already inside. So good news, the windows have sealed. There we go, very secure. And if I go over here, where the blast happened, Let's take a look at the damage. Nothing. So sealed. So the inside is completely fine. I'm gonna go and take a look downstairs. And same thing. Just missing a block. So hopefully you enjoyed that quick test to see how durable the place is. And stay tuned for more tours and the rest of this world tour. Hopefully you enjoyed watching this video and found it entertaining or useful. Please like and subscribe for more. And subscribe to our channel. So, thanks for watching.